Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. I want to give you an update uh, from whence I was let go from Lowe's Home Improvement on 5-24-2024. Yeah, that was kind of a sad day, but it's like they said, one door slams, another door will crack open and allow you to come in. I believe in that. It's been said in the Bible and what the preachers say. So, I have been doing G, can't even say the word. I've been working hard of going through jobs and finding something that would be more of a perfect fit for me. Now, you know that I've told you in the past, I have lifted a lot of heavy weight. At my age, I'm really not supposed to. I was told by a doctor eight years ago that I would end up in a wheelchair. That is not an option. Not me. I, won't, I flat out refuse to do it. So... I was looking at this one company. They used to deliver. In fact, they still deliver to all of those stores. They deliver to store supplies. They deliver to hospitals and restaurants and, and all different places, you know. And I noticed them when I went up to get the metal for my barn roof. I go, hmm, I didn't know they were here. I thought they were in Nashville. Well, they are in Nashville. But they have a place up in Murray, Kentucky. It is roughly 11 miles from my house to there. That's right, 11 miles. The road is mostly flat. When I was driving to Lowe's, it was a roller coaster of ice and snow in the wintertime. 17 miles. I've gone off that road once backwards in a minivan. And there's no signal, no cell service on that stretch of road. If anything was to happen, you would just die. You would just die. And the way the road was designed, Toby. You go off the side, you disappear down a embankment. Safety was always an issue. I drove to that store since 2007. In the wintertime, tornadic weather, I risk my life to drive to that company every day. And I've driven through blizzards on the way home. Never knowing what's going to happen on that stretch of road. So, to change up from working in Tennessee, I decided I want to spend my remaining years working in Kentucky. Here's the difference. Number one, they pay more. That's right. They actually pay more. Now, this company, uh, they don't do like Lowe's. Lowe's was 39 hours. When I worked at Lowe's in Florida, it was 40 hours. I never could figure it out. Uh, I guess more money for management if they kept their, um, you know, hours down throughout the store. Yeah, I know. I cut my hair. Um, so I go, all right. So I was looking at the hours for the shift because I put in for first shift equipment uh, operator. Uh, maximum to lift is 50 pounds. Well, to me, that's a gallon of milk. I mean, seriously, that, that's a gallon of milk to me compared to the hundreds of pounds that I've had to lift at the store. Hundreds of pounds. That's a big difference. So, 
I'm not going to tell you the name of this place until I am 100% signed up, ready to go. My shift is going to be from 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Five days a week, they are not open Saturday and Sunday. Second shift works from 5 to, I think, 3.30 or something in the morning. I believe so. Don't hold me to that, but I believe so. And then there's a little bit of shutdown time in between. So they are basically a 24-hour opening business five days a week. I'm just taking a wild guess. You get a half hour for lunch when you work a 10-hour shift. Uh, at 37 and a half hours, don't hold me to it. It's when they start paying overtime. So I'd be working 50, day, uh, 50 hours a week if hired, which I got a good feeling that I probably will. And um, take out the best benefits that I've seen. Some of them run parallel to what Lowe's has. Now, who their insurance company is, I don't know. Um, I noticed they had cancer insurance. I had that with Lowe's. I don't have anything at all now. So, if I can at least get that, and if it is lucky enough to be through Allstate, I'm set. Now, the accidental death and dismemberment, eh, that's kind of a waste of money. But they do have great benefits. Uh, the building, from what I can tell, unless they got an internal, I don't believe the warehouse is heated or air conditioned. I'm sure they got fans. Or they probably have it, and it's not a rooftop unit, which in Lowe's are always broken. I mean, it's pretty bad when you go into a uh, the break room to take lunch, and it's hotter in there than it is outside. And um, you, get an, you, you get a drink, it's warm. You get a candy bar, and it's melted. It, it gets to be depressing. Not many people want to sit there and put up with that. Equipment is always breaking down. I mean, a delivery driver trying to load his truck, the back wheel falls off. It's crazy, you know? It's, it's just nuts. And they don't care on taking care of this stuff. When you're supposed to service something a certain way, the company don't want to pay for it, but just soon wait until the transmission falls out. The company has really gone downhill. And for that store, sorry as it may seem, parts of it, they're, they're just messy. They're piggy. Their motto is great service. In stock, clean and safe store. Well, two out of three is not bad, right? I gave my life. I gave my body. And I have gave my health to that store, to that company. And they just let me go like I was a piece of garbage. I did talk to an attorney yesterday and he seems to think from all the things I told him what conspired to me getting fired he seems to think it was uh, due to my age just because everyone in management was younger than me they think it's age discrimination I got one more lawyer I got to talk to, and we're going to see if it's worth doing anything with this. I'm doing what my neighbors and what my, my kin, my sister and my brother told me what I should do. It's fight. I never had to fight on this before. I hate doing it because to me it's a waste of money and a waste of time. 
But that's it. I'll see you in the next video.